is formed shorthand property. Well, in CSS, we can set font for selected HTML element with font style, font variant, font weight, font size, and font family. So basically, you can use five different CSS properties to change or customize your font. But with the font shorthand property, all these CSS properties can be set in just one line or with just one CSS property. Basically, font shorthand property can take up to five different values, where first value represents font style, second value represents font variant, third value represents font weight, fourth value represents font size, and the last fifth value represents font family. Okay, let's see some example for this. So for this part, I have already prepared simple HTML document structure. Our HTML document has head and body. Inside of body, we have just one text paragraph, and our text paragraph has class HTML attribute, and like attribute value, for this class HTML attribute, we have font1. Okay, inside of head, we have title for this document, and we have style block, where we have defined our font1 class selector. So with this class selector, we'll select our text paragraph that has font1 class, and basically for our font1, we will set font style that is italic, font variant that is small caps, font weight that is bold, font size that is 24 pixels, and font family that is Helvetica. I save this document like index.html on the desktop. Okay, so let's minimize our text editor. This is our web page, so let's open it. And voila, this is how our web page looks like for now. So let's analyze it. Let's click on the right click. Let's select Inspect. So now on the right hand side, we have structure of our HTML document. So let's expand head. Let's expand body. Let's expand style. Basically, this is our class selector with all CSS properties. And this is our text paragraph that we can click. And down here, we have our class selector with the five different CSS properties that we use to customize our font. If we uncheck this, you can see how every change or every property will affect your text paragraph. Okay, so basically this is how we are using five different CSS properties for our text paragraph to customize it. But how we can simplify this? Actually, very simple. Inside the Fire Font 1 class selector, let's define font shorthand property. Okay, our font shorthand property can take up to five values. Our first value represents font style. In our case, that is italic, so we can copy it from here. Let's paste it here. Okay, next value that font shorthand takes is font variant. So we can copy it from here. Okay. Third value that we use for our font shorthand property is font weight. We can copy it from here. Fourth value represents font size. We can copy 24 pixels from here. And the last value that we use for our font shorthand property is font family, so we can copy Helvetica from here and let's paste it here. Okay, so now when we are using font shorthand, we can remove all other CSS properties from here. Okay, let's save these changes. Let's go back in our browser 
let's refresh it. As you can see, our text paragraph has not been changed. But if you take a look in the code on the right hand side, you can see that our class selector, instead of five different CSS properties, use just one CSS property with all that values inside of it. So this is how we are using font shorthand property that is a very powerful feature that you probably will use in your websites. One more thing that I want to mention is that you don't need to use all CSS properties. From here you can use, for example, if you don't need italic, you can simply remove it or bold, you can remove it. You can use only these properties that you need to customize your font. So even now with the three properties, your font shorthand will work. Okay, so this is how you can use font shorthand properties. So feel free to play around with this. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope this was helpful to you. If you like our work, please become our Patreon or simply donate our PayPal. Please remember, even a little from you means a lot for us. You can follow us on our Twitter and Instagram profiles. And please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Because on our YouTube channel, knowledge is waiting 24-7.